All right, guys, so I have my gasifier complete, and I even did a couple test runs on it. A couple test runs that I'm sad to say were both failures, and I'll go over why they were both failures in a second um, after I show you a little bit about what I've done, because I know you're probably interested. So here's my hay filter. It comes out of my radiator, and then goes up to this tube, which go, went into my blower. There's my radiator, which I showed in previous videos. My circulation and I guess cooling area that has my bio crude, tar, water, everything catch on there. And then the gas fire itself. So back to my test runs. When I did my first two test runs, I hooked my blower up on there, let it go for about 10 minutes and then realized that it's just not doing what I want it to do. I tried to light the smoke, and it was smoke coming out of there, not send gas. Uh, I tried to light it, and I put my match out, tried to light it with a torch. It just blew the torch flame away. So I was like, what the heck is the problem? It's almost like there's just a campfire going in there, and I'm just cooling down the smoke coming off of it, which was the case. Uh, so I got to thinking about what could possibly be the problem. I was like, maybe there's just not enough heat to thermally crack all the tars and things like that coming off the uh, coming off the smoke, or maybe I'm getting too much airflow, and or I was just thinking all sorts of things. Uh, so I went to the FEMA handbook, did a little research, watched some more YouTube videos, uh, watched some really good YouTube videos by Flash001USA, I believe his name is. Um, Highly recommend watching that. And I figured out some major problems in my system, some major setbacks. So what I figured out in the FEMA handbook is that my reduction zone here, this area around the edge is my reduction zone. For a five horsepower engine, and I'm trying to run a 6.5 horsepower engine, it needs to be about 3.6 inches in diameter. As you can see here, Mine's probably about six inches in diameter. And then down there, the final reduction zone, the hottest part of the unit that's supposed to get about 2,000 degrees to fully thermally crack all the tar that's coming off of the, um, coming off of the burning and decomposing wood, is only supposed to be about 1.5 inches in, in diameter for a five horsepower engine. And as you can see, mine is probably about eight inches in diameter total. So I figured out I have built a gasifier, this gasifier, not including all the stuff uh, meant to cool it down. This gasifier here is probably built to run about a 100 horsepower engine with a lot of suction. That's not very good. It's not what I was intending to do. So uh, with that learned, I need to definitely make some modifications before I can show you a successful test run. Um, go over here to my paper and I'll show you a little bit how gas fires work uh, now that I real or now that I learned a little bit about it. So what I have here is my existing gasifier. The outside is the barrel. Um, everything in pencil is the stuff I've got built so far and the red is what I'm gonna have to build. So I have my hopper up here, it goes down into my reduction zone, combustion area, um, and the hearth zone as they call it in the FEMA handbook. And that handbook is called the Handbook of Biomass Downdraft Gasifier Engine Systems. Um, so how a gasifier works is it has the hopper full of wood and then it has the hearth zone uh, and I guess the thermal cracking area. The reason it works is because the it doesn't have enough oxygen to completely burn all the gas that comes off the wood, all the wood gas. So it uses a little bit of that wood gas to create the heat to thermally crack the tar and to decompose the wood up here in the hearth zone. That gas is then sucked down through here in the hottest point, which is supposed to be around 2,000 degrees to completely crack the tar, uh, meaning completely decompose the tar into burnable things including like, I don't know, hydrogen, methane, carbon monoxide, even diesel fuel and gasoline, um, I believe anyway. So 
I don't know about those last two. So, um, let's see, where was I going with this? Basically, my gasifier is flawed in a big way uh, that I need to fix. Um, other than that, I'll explain to you some things, uh, uh, some other problems I found with my gasifier. Uh, but first, I'd like to say that my next video will be a test run video, and uh, it will be when I fix the the new hearth and reduction zone. Um, so the other things I found with my gasifier will be the inferior metal, I believe, I've built the reduction zone out of, because I mean, it needs to be 2,000 degrees down inside of there, and I think the thin sheet metal I built it out of is going to warp and... Uh, not be able to handle that temperature, so the new insert I'm going to build is going to be have to be pretty stout. Um, my pipe diameter throughout is a little bit too small. I'm afraid of tar and things like that building up inside of this all this linkage. Um, I'm going to probably oh yeah, I'm probably going to build a brand new gasifier after this. It'll be my prototype gasifier, uh, and I'll build a brand new one with all the kinks worked out of it. Hopefully. Um, that's why I was trying to do this one for free because I kind of expected that to happen since everything I build is uh, the first time is not so good and the second time is usually pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to get bigger pipe diameter. Um, I have an obnoxiously complex radiator system which I plan to solve by pretty much eliminating a radiator altogether. I'm going to, on my next gasifier, replace my circulating and um, I guess cooling tanks with two 30 gallon propane tanks hopefully two 30 gallon propane tanks anyway that'd be ideal so the first propane tank can be the circulating and tar catching and ash catching propane tank and then the second propane tank will be a, another circulating ash catching and tar catching propane tank but it's also going to be full of catalyst metals such as aluminum and stainless steel wool. That will help uh, through my research which I've uh, done from the FEMA handbook and from YouTube videos. The aluminum and stainless steel wool are kind of catalyst metals and they'll help convert the syn gas into more usable and burnable gases. Um, sources for that information come from, um, let's see, Mr. Tessalonian, good YouTube channel for gasifier information, and then Flash001 USA. He builds really good gasifiers, um, and I pretty much plan to model my next gasifier off of the Invert design that he built because I believe it's the best YouTube uh, small gasifier I've seen. Um, I have poor sealing all over this gasifier, mostly due to just lack of <clears throat> attention to detail and just this is my prototype gasifier. So as you can see, I, in place of welding all these like seams in here, I just tacked them and then I put aluminum foil in there and then I duct taped over them. So I probably have some... Uh, air getting into my system right there, which is definitely not ideal. You want to have a completely sealed system. Um, I will also be able to accomplish that by getting thicker pipe and having better welds because this pipe is like paper thin pipe. And when I eat on my lowest setting on my little Hobart, I think it's 135 over there. If I'm not really careful and just do tack, 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 tack all the way around the bottom of the pipe. As you can see right here on this weld, hopefully, it's literally just, it's not a bead, it's a bunch. So I plan to uh, fix that with a better quality pipe that I'll actually probably have to buy. I mean, this pipe is literally made of an old swing set that I found in my woods, so. As I said, I was trying to make it cheap. What else do I need to do? Um, circulator too short. I already told you I'm going to get two 30-gallon tanks. And hard to transport, put uh, casters on my, uh, I already tried to fix that, but I'll put another caster on the front. Won't be a big deal. So basically what I need to do before my next video 
since this one's getting kind of long, is I need to build the new reduction zone, and I need to build the new, I guess, thermal cracking area down here in the bottom of the tank. Um, then I'm going to hook the blower up, make sure everything's sealed, and hopefully get out a video of a good, clean burning, or as clean as possible burning, uh, Syngas video. So, stay tuned for that. That'll probably be within the next week, because I need to take that whole, the whole gasifier apart in order to make that part inside of there. And then, uh, I guess, I guess just stay tuned. Um... Any comments with suggestions or anything like that, I absolutely love because I'm just getting into this, just seeing, just trying to learn about it, and uh, I'll definitely reply if it's a, I'll, def I'll, I'll reply. So, uh, what else? I guess like this video, as everyone asks you to do at the end of their YouTube videos, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon with a test run video. Uh, thanks for watching.